another organic video. And I something told me to just stop here at the Kingdom Hall. I'm in my car. And I was just thinking, I was thinking with anger initially. Because I was thinking, I tried so hard. Like, I thought it was the truth. I, it's okay to admit that. I thought it was the truth. And I thought I was doing the right thing. And it was so hard. And I was just saying this to myself. I thought it was the truth. And I didn't understand why it was so hard. It was so hard. It was so hard. I figured I would share with you guys. Because it's so painful. I haven't been here in probably like five years or something. In a long time. You know, I, I stopped coming. When my grandmother passed away. Um, because my phone was ringing. Because um, they sh they treated me differently after I was gone for a while taking care of her. She had dementia. So I couldn't come as regularly. And this was in my adult life. You know, maybe like six, seven years ago. And I um, used to come because I lived in this area. And I couldn't come because I was taking care of her and everything and working. And when I came back, they wouldn't speak to me. So a friend of mine... Um, told me that they came to her house late at night like after the meeting on a Thursday and they told her that she shouldn't because I would sit with her and her family and they told her she shouldn't have me um, shouldn't be sitting with me or talking to me because I wasn't you know doing right but nobody ever asked me why I stopped coming I know now that was a blessing but nobody ever asked me you know why aren't you coming I would have like my grandma passed away and I couldn't come but I used to listen in to the meeting so it's okay you know I've been doing my part and when that happened, I talked to a friend of mine who was a Christian. I knew for like 20 years. And I told her about what happened. And she was like, why would you go somewhere where they treat you like that? Like, why would you go somewhere where they treat you like that? And I, it just clicked in me. I was like, yeah, why would I go somewhere where they treat me like this? So I know I'm, I'm not even going to make any excuses. But I, um, I'm just sitting. So as I was driving to go run errands on this Friday evening on the 10th, I made a, a video earlier today that I posted. I, I pulled in here just to think about this and I tried so hard and I feel so weird being in the parking lot and I felt fear driving in the parking lot and it said the parking lot's monitored and I just I just tried I tried I'm glad that I now know that I now woke but just to be here it just makes me feel ill I'm just in my car and um I tried I tried to do what I thought I was supposed to do for this organization, this organization, the Jehovah's Witnesses. And it's so well manicured out here, you know, um, so well manicured and it looks so welcoming. The flowers are done. And I just think of the person who came to do the flowers, spending their time and probably their money to do the flowers and landscape out here. And... They don't even know that it's not right. They don't even know what they're under and what they're believing is not right. And it's not loving. And if they make one mistake, they could be gone. One mistake, they could be gone. And they could lose their whole family and all their friends and everything they've ever known. Just because of a mistake. Because three men decided that they shouldn't be a part of the organization anymore. And I just think it's so sad. And I have so much empathy for my mother who's still in. I have so much empathy for all the people that come here to serve if they're back here or not. But it's just so sad. And it's just not right. And I just thought I would just tell you that um, my true emotions of being here in the driveway of the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses. I really, if it, I really wanted to do right. I really wanted to do right, but I just never, it was too hard and it was too strict. You know, you can't live your life at all, but it's so emotional for me to have been, be removed for this long. I've been saved since January the 4th of 20, um, of 2015. Uh, and now I have a real relationship with God and it's not hard. There's grace. There's mercy. You don't have to knock on doors. You don't have to think you might you might be saved. If you confess your sins and you claim Jesus as your Lord and Savior, that's all you have to do. So for me to have this much pain from just being in the parking lot of a building because of my experience, 
because my mom still endures and so many others that I love still endure and all these people I don't know they still endure it's just so sad people giving their money their time for this organization I just wanted to let you know I, I'm I'm thankful that I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm woke now. That I woke up. That's what I'm supposed to say. That I woke up. And if this, if I can still feel like this because I grew up in this organization and I've been removed, but just to be on the presence of the property, if I feel like this, I can't imagine someone trying to leave today or someone considering it or someone's conflicted or someone's family's in that they can't get out. Whatever the case may be, there's life afterwards. And even though it might be hard sometimes, it's worth it to have real love that doesn't, is not conditional based on you making, a, you know, based on you doing what everybody else is doing or doing what they tell you to do. So this is just organic. I was just riding by to go to Walmart and Home Goods, and I just pulled in just to feel. And boy, do I feel. So. Oh my gosh. To all the Jehovah's Witnesses that are still a part of the organization, I just ask that you take some time to research. Do some research. Look it up. Look up other religions. Find out what you're studying and what you're believing. And then see if you, if you compare it to truth. Compare it to the Bible that's not from Jehovah's Witnesses. Pray about it. Honestly. Open your heart up. So anyway. Thank you for letting me vent. I'm going to go on to Walmart now. It's Coco signing off. Bye Kingdom Hall. Forever. <laughs>